I'm back. I love how every single time I go to get into this game, there's always some sort of audio issue. So I'm not exactly sure where we left off. We'll find out, I guess. I know that we once again met Caleb because, you know, Caleb just can't leave us alone for one of them. No, I'm kidding. I'm not complaining about that at all. We also met Mayor Whiskers in the last episode, which I thought was adorable because I had never actually met him before. Um, I just need to sort of refresh my memory as to what we need to do here. All right, so we've got two out of nine practical, two out of seven mischief, two out of eight untamed. So basically we have two of everything and then seven potion out of 15. So that's good. What spells do we know? Repair, scrub root, dispario, <laughs> delirate, inferniate, zip zap. This one's interesting. Necro call is you can bring someone back from the dead. Dedeathify, you can make sure that you don't die. I haven't actually used that one. So I've been doing this other save lately, like when I'm just playing, and I actually may start doing videos on it. I don't think I'll turn it into a stream because it would be a very boring stream. Not that my streams aren't already boring, but hey. Okay. But I, I don't watch reality TV like at all, ever. But I have had TV on in the background a little bit here and there. Um, and at one point, Love Island was playing. And again, I'm not a fan of reality TV at all. So I'm just like, okay, whatever it is, what it is. But I love islands. <laughs> I love tropical settings. And who doesn't love love? Well, besides me, but we won't go there. Um, so I'm like, wouldn't it be interesting if I was to do something sort of like that with The Sims? Now, I mean, I don't know how Love Island is or even like The Bachelorette, and I'll get to that in a second, but like, I don't know exactly how those shows go. I just sort of took it my own direction. There's four couples, four guys, four girls. And the whole goal of it is the couple that wins is the first couple to reach like have their romance bar reach 100%. And then I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I did something similar to that, only with The Bachelor slash The Bachelorette? So what I did is I took Jade here, <laughs> I had her be The Bachelorette, and I had five guys in the household with her, one from each occult. I tried to take the most well-known from each. So obviously Caleb the vampire, Morgan the spellcaster, there's a, a merman, he's a weird looking dude, I'm just gonna say that right now. And then I had to create an alien, he's adorable. And then there's a human, which is another sim that I created. And ironically, he's actually a vampire in a lot of the saves that I use, but in that particular one, he's human. Well, Caleb won with Jade, so then I brought in Gem. In most saves, I get Gem with Morgan. Well, so far, he's winning. Keep in mind, I let them all do this autonomously. I have no idea how they know who I want to win, but they win. <laughs> so. It's working. All right, so Jade, let's take you to the magic realm and we will talk to the sages and see if we can get some more information and maybe we'll do another duel because why not? <laughs> I do want her to duel with someone. I don't think it'll be one of the sages. I just, I kind of want her to try to win a duel if she can. Maybe I'll wait until we level her up again. Where is everyone? <laughs> it's kind of barren here. What happened? Seriously, where is, oh, okay. So two of them are down here. We will talk to Simon first as Morgan quickly gets himself out of the situation. What? What do you mean you can't- you can't talk to him? He's right next to you, but you can't talk to him. Me? You're not ready to learn it- Ah, okay, this is what I was talking about in the last episode. I knew I was gonna get this at least once. She may not be able to learn any more spells from anyone because she needs to rank up first. Oh my god, what happened to your face? Morgan! No! Is that from the duel? Oh no. Poor Morgan. Oh yeah, that's right. I noticed it in the bottom window here before in the last episode. And I was talking about it because that's from Slice of Life. But uh, yeah, I'm assuming that came from the duel. Jade, you need to hurry up. Learn the art of running. <laughs> I saw she started asking the air in front of her if she could. Yay! Uh, hey, air, you're really cool. Could I uh, could I learn a spell from you by chance? All right, let's find someone to duel. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is see if I can find someone who I could quote unquote teach. Because if I can teach them, then chances are good we will win a duel against them. Oh, there's a duel happening here. I don't know who I'm gonna root for. So just yay! I'll root, I'll root for this guy because it looks like he's gonna win. Jade walks up to this guy and then completely ignores him. She's like, I was gonna say hi, but I thought better of it. Cool, okay, so now let's see where you're at as a spellcaster. Ask for magic. Yeah, okay, we can't. He's too good at magic. Damn it, I was rooting for you. How dare you lose? 
Well, Jade was happy about it. So how about this guy then? We'll probably lose. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. We need to greet him first, just like I said before. Summon familiar. Who are we gonna summon? Flops the Bunnerfly, Orion the Raven, Kraken's the Skull, Pins the Hextall, Bale the snub Nose Leaf Bat, I think, and Gorbash the Dragon. Which one should we bring out? Hmm. How about Kraken's? Oh my god, you look so cool. Challenge to a friendly duel. It's fine, you can be embarrassed. We're uncomfortable anyway, so it's fine. So I said I was gonna um, show this place when I felt that she could beat a sage. I was wrong. We're just gonna show it now. This is the dueling grounds. Um. There we go. Yep. Failed miserably. Looks like you could use a little dueling practice. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an understatement. Thanks, buddy. All right, so we'll just go home. Can't do anything right now. Except for practice magic, but she's tired. And she fell off of her broom again. And fell. Like, well, I mean, I just said that. Okay, quit your whining and go to bed then. Please do not set yourself on fire. This is pretty uneventful compared to, like, the other, like, you know, the vampires thing, because, I don't know, it's just uneventful. What I need to do is have Jim go to bed, <laughs> and then when they wake up, maybe I will just have Jade invite Caleb over and get to know him. And then maybe we'll just start fresh the following day, go to the magic realm and try to duel people. Or just practice magic. Oh, I forgot to dismiss the familiar. So he's just sitting there watching her sleep, just creepy. Oh my goodness, you're adorable even if you like to jitter. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is how you know that I've lost my mind. No, there's no kitty. Oh, actually, that is another thing I want to do. What I want to do is add a cat. Oh my god, look at the little... Oh, that's so cute. We're in the little costume. What I want to do is make my kitty in The Sims. It's a Callie. That's what it is. It looks like my Callie. Although my Callie is a bit more chunky and a teeny bit more fluffy, but I can't seem to find a fur that matches perfectly. Okay, so spoiled. Yeah, she's absolutely spoiled. She is playful and she is talkative. She is female. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, that was great. She's just like in C-A-L-L-E-I-G-H is how you spell my Callie's name. There is a reason why I am adding a cat to the household. Besides the fact that I just love cats. <laughs> That's not, that's not the reason why you're... Although, in my opinion, that's a good enough reason, but that's not the reason. <laughs> we are going to do something with Callie involving Realm of Magic that I personally think is pretty damn cool. When you have a cat, of which I don't know where Callie is. Oh, she's out there. <laughs> no, wait, Jade, you're not getting food just yet. You need to starve. So with Realm of Magic now, with, the, with a cat or a dog, this works for a dog as well, you just click on the animal and go to Magic. And then you can bind your pet as a familiar. Oh, that failed? It's not supposed to fail. I've never had that happen before. <laughs> the game is just like, nope, you're streaming. So we're going to make what you're trying to show them not happen. Make me look like a damn fool. I've done this a few times. I know how to do it. For some reason, the game just doesn't like me tonight. So try that again. Magic. Bind pet as familiar. There we go. All right, Callie Hunter is now bound as Jade Hunter's familiar. So now we can summon familiar and now we can summon Callie and this happens wherever she is. Right there. Okay. She's going to have like these little sparkles that come off of her that basically show that she is the active familiar. And anywhere we go, Callie will follow. She follows her everywhere, even into the magic realm. Well, I mean, when we're at home, she goes upstairs and stuff like she doesn't like hover behind her like the others, but she does stay close. That's a cool little thing that you can do in Realm of Magic. And why don't we invite Caleb over? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Wait a minute, wait. Her phone was on her plate. She wasn't even on the phone. She was just talking to the air and the phone was on her plate. Oh my God, that was great. Oh, hey, he's right there. Why don't we invite him in instead of just letting him stand out there? Ask about day. Is he stuck? We can't invite him in. It's just, it's not even letting us do that. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Bold pickup line. 
Oh, that's so cute! I also have a couple new mods as well that I've been using. Um, well, actually, I've only used it once. But one thing here is cuddle while cloud gazing or stargazing, um, depending on the time of day. I love it. It is so cute. Let's see if we can try to get them to do it. Hold on. You know what? I might actually need to change the... Yeah, this, <laughs> this is what I was saying. I might need to change it a bit, but it's really cute. They actually, like, go together, like, lay together. If he initiates it, he's the one lying on the ground and she's, like, cuddling with him. Yeah, okay, so Jade has learned all possible spells for their current rank. Practicing magic or experimenting on the cauldron will continue to improve her spellcaster prowess, but that's it. Lust. Yikes. I mean, <laughs> Kayla's right upstairs. So yeah. Yay, okay. She ranked up. Your prowess in the magical arts is gaining recognition. A magical care package is sent to every acolyte containing some everyday essentials for an up and coming spellcaster. Be sure to check your mailbox, okay? Oh, that's right. I never put down food or anything for the cat. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Get into the game, get a cat, and kill it immediately. That's real great. I feel like it's more entertaining when there's a full house of people because there's it's more there's more stuff that happens. So I may add a couple more people to the household as well just to keep this kind of entertaining and moving along when they're not just doing regular like spellcaster or romantic things. Ooh, now's a good time for me to show off the fact that she can make her sister smell better because as you can see she needs to take a shower she's getting kind of gross so we can change that by clicking on her choosing magic spells and then scrubberoo and this is what happens keep an eye on the green stink coming from her shoulders and uh so she just sort of reacted even though it didn't happen and now she's okay see no more green and therefore no more stink and her hygiene is completely up so it works for humans as well excuse you get off of the counter you're not supposed to be there kitty although that's pretty accurate to real life my cat callie is constantly getting up on <laughs> constantly getting up on the counters and i'm like in and in and down <laughs> she likes to try to drink water out of the sink even though she has a water dish in my room and a water dish in the kitchen i'm like you are so spoiled and you still want to drink out of the sink i don't understand she's like i like moving water and those dishes don't give that to me get her off the what are you doing no what's happening oh she is getting up there and kind of charged Charge. Spellcasting is more powerful, but success chance is light, lightly decreased. There is also the possibility of becoming cursed. Yeah, let's not become cursed, okay? Jade, why don't you dismiss Callie as you're familiar, because we don't need to keep her like that. Send to forage. That's another thing you can do. You can send them to see if they can find magical ingredients for you. Seriously? And as soon as she's done, Callie jumps right back up onto the counter again. Love day. Oh, wait. <laughs> I have an idea. I think we should have Caleb come over and Morgan come over so she can start flirting with Morgan and she can continue flirting with Caleb. And then after we've done all the flirting and flower stuff, we will have her go to the magic realm. And then after that, I will end the stream. Jade, we need you to invite some people over. We're going to have a little love day party, okay? So we're going to greet him by immediately giving him an embrace because I think that's cute. Going to go and greet him. Flirty introduction. We need to do more with you. We need to- we're gonna offer a rose. Um, we're not gonna be able to have Morgan move in because he'll lose his sage status. We don't want that. Whoa! <laughs> I paused at probably the best time right here. She's like, yeah! <laughs> I'm so pumped! Where are you going? Jem! No! She has to go to work! Oh, got to- wait, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Another cool thing about Realm of Magic I think this will be kind of rude to Caleb, but if we go to the magic realm, then Morgan will just completely uproot from where he is and go right there to the magic realm. It's pretty cool. They're so damn cute. First kiss. Yeah. Aww. Oh my god, Morgan in the background. <laughs> Aww. Well, why don't we ask to cloud gaze? Ooh, no, never mind. We can ask him to join household now. That's nice. Whoa, I didn't have her do that. That wasn't me, I promise. All right, so now let's have her go to the magic realm. Yep, there's Morgan. As if he was never even at our house. He's just right there. So now we can ask him. Unfortunately, we can't ask him like if he's hanging out at our house. We actually have to ask him when he is the sage. 
He's only, I mean, well, he's obviously the sage, but I mean, like, when he's the active sage, he has the rune above his head. If he isn't the active sage, he just looks normal, like a normal human. We can only ask him when he has the rune. Might have something to do with the whole storyline. I don't actually know the story behind the magic realm. I just know that it exists in a vortex and that the magic is keeping it together. That's all I know based on the trailer, but yeah. So, I mean, if they're trying to keep it similar to that, it's like only sages have that kind of power here. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm just... whatever. Ooh, so we learned Necro Call. So that means if anyone that we know dies, we can bring them back to life. Do you want to go on a date? Oh, I'd love to, but I can't right now. <laughs> ah, I can't right... no thanks. We literally live together. We'll, we'll do a date in a minute. Okay. Well, not in a minute, but later. Good. We did that. Furio. That's where you can make two sims get into a fight, I think? Why Why can't we ask her for a potion? Hold on. No, stop. Don't walk away. She's like, damn it, I gotta pee. <laughs> Why are you telling me not to walk away? My god. You're like a naggy girlfriend. Shut up. <laughs> cool. I don't know what we got. We got perk purging. Cool. I'm a freaking derp. Great, thanks. Wait, what? She's learned every possible potion she could. She's learned 9 out of 15. It's possible that we can't actually learn any more without experimenting on a cauldron. So we have one at home. We'll do that later. Me being as immature as I am, I love the fact that they have that in the game. Oh, ew. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I think it's funny that they can do that. I'll just have her do it right now. Hold on. Be gross. Belch. <laughs> and then, and then of course, the fart. <laughs> it's just funny and it doesn't again it doesn't have any negative reactions from anyone you just do it and move on it's not really a big deal i think it would have been better if they added negative reactions and people like walk in and you just see like this green cloud above their face and they're just like oh god what is that but no they won't do that okay so gem is home let's bring her here i love how they don't even have any sort of friendship at all pretty much but they have this like romantic relationship it's like i don't know you as a person but I love you. <laughs> Aww, you guys are so cute. Make out with Morgan, jeez. <laughs> Kinda, you know, rushing that a bit, don't you think? They haven't even had their first kiss yet, calm down. <laughs> My god. Let's, um, let's just see if we can do a, let's, <laughs> let's duel Grace and Nazi. Friendly duel. We're gonna fail, again. Let's hope we don't get a curse. Oh my god, Grace just phased through the railing of the stairs. She's like, this is how magical I am. Oh gosh. Oh, I should have had her, um... Shoot, hold on. I should have had her try to build charge if she can. I don't know if she can or not. And I should have had her summon one of her familiars. <laughs> Simon's like, what's going on here? This is interesting. It's like you totally haven't seen a <gasps> Jade one? No freaking way! <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. What do you mean? What's that all about? Did you see his the look on his face? He was just like, no, no, how did that happen? Shut up, dude. That was rude. So wait, that actually just yeah, win three duels. We just need to re win two more. <laughs> we have two talent points that I forgot about. We can see the moats and we can actually eat them, which is what I was talking about before. I'm actually going to do this so we can get to the moats. Absorb the moat. This is what we do with the moats now. Eat them. Eat them all. Yeah, all right. So we only have three more ranks to go. So let's go home. It was all skill from winning a magic duel. Jade sees Victory's face. She then realized it was her. Oh, that is so egotistical. Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god, get this cat off of the refrigerator. Beg to stop jumping on counters. Please. <laughs> now, with a high enough friendship, we actually can have Morgan move in, just not- Whoa. Okay. We, we can't just have him move in like Caleb has. He would move in as a roommate instead. So, let's put down our potions here. Let's open this. This is DJ Candy. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. So we'll put it right there. So I'm gonna just end this stream here. That was it's pretty much all we can do right now, and I really don't feel like like waiting it out. Um anyway, thank you for watching and have a good day, night, whatever it is where you are, and I will be back soon. Bye. <laughs>